What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to another segment for the Sports Buzz. Here we go. Let's just jump into it today. Spotlighting the eight true containers for 2021 season, according to Sikuo Smith from NBA.com. Let's jump right into it. <clears throat> so the NBA, you know, they're about to kick off their season once again. So, I mean, season just ended. But with 2020 being so crazy, we're getting double dosage of seasons colliding pretty close together this year. So, who's going to be the eight contender, contenders according to this guy? Well, for Eastern Conference, he has Milwaukee Bucks. Nonetheless, I spent nothing else from this guy putting the Bucks in there. I think he was correct on doing that. They finished 56 and 17 for last season. They were first in the Eastern Conference. However, they lost to Miami, of course, in the conference semifinals. Granted, I feel like they just couldn't get their act together. They should have won, and they could have won it. But anyway, the offseason acquires that they had were Jeru Holiday, Bobby Portis, and DJ Augustine. So they are looking to really – they're trying to get to that point again to where they're going to make it to the semifinals. Hopefully, you know, always wish them the best with Giannis. I think that he's going to have to really take this team and lead it into another, another playoff contender. And I think they have a shot. I think with Bobby Portis, hopefully, um, and with holiday, I think those two are going to really bring that team hopefully together. Augustine is another one. I think he's really good as well. Um, we'll see what's going to happen with the Bucks, But I feel like, you know, with Giannis, Chris Milton, I feel like Chris Milton went off during the playoffs. I mean, he was so fun to watch. Um, so it's going to be really interesting to see how Giannis and Chris Milton is going to open up with Holiday and Portis and Augustine. So we'll see. Can't wait to see what that's going to happen. Okay, and then for their next one, Miami Heat, there's no doubt about it. They have such an incredible, talented team that I feel like they are going to bounce back. Even though they finished 44 and 29 last year, they made it to the finals. So there's no doubt about it in my mind that they are contenders again this season. You know, they got Avery Bradley, Mo Harkless, Precious. I'm not even going to say this other guy, but he's a rookie. Um, so we'll see what Avery Bradley is going to bring to this team. So, and, and Harkless as well. I, I don't really know much about that guy, so I can't really say a whole lot. But I think Bradley's going to really he set the tone for this team. So they've already got tons of talent on this team now. So Miami's really trying to push it to make it back to the finals again. Brooklyn Nets is coming at number three. I'm kind of on the fence about this one. So they finished 35-37, and 37, of course, last year. They lost to Toronto in the first round. No surprise there. Um, so their key offseason players are Landry Shaman and Jeff Green. I don't really know how much these two are going to bring to the table, but we shall see. You know, with Steve Nash being the head coach now, which is going to be fun to watch. But it also includes Mike D'Toni, which I, I'm kind of curious why. Um, I just don't think he was really meant to be a head coach, but maybe he'll do better in this position. And Amari Stoudemire. So this is going to be actually a fun team to watch. Um, I always loved watching Amari Stoudemire play, so I can't wait to see what he's going to do as a type of coach. Now... Steve Nash and him played together, of course, underneath Mike D'Antoni when they were in Phoenix. So this is going to be really fun to watch this group also coach together. Um, <laughs> it's going to be interesting, that's for sure. And we don't know if Kevin Durant's going to be 100% like he used to be. So after his injury, we will see if he's going to come back. Who knows? And then you also have Kyrie Irving. So we'll see what's actually going to happen there. Now, Boston Celtics. I don't know. It's going to be interesting. They were 48 and 24 last season. Now they were third in Eastern Conference, lost to Miami in Conference Finals, of course. They added Tristan Thompson, which was a great add, Jeff T, and Aaron Nesmith. So, which is, he's a rookie. Now, adding Jeff T and Tristan Thompson should bring something to the table. I don't know what. So, we will see what's actually going to happen. Um, I will also link this article down below. You can go and read the outlook, what this guy wrote, because it's really interesting. Now, of course, for the Western Conference, no other than my Los Angeles Lakers, they're, they're number one, of course, on this list for a Western Conference. They finished 59 in, or 52 and 19, 
and they defeated Miami in the finals, of course, and it was such an incredible, weird season. But I knew that the Lakers had the the upper hand to win the finals this year. So it was just great to see that. Um, key offseason key off season players, of course, Schroeder, Harrell, Mark Gasol, and Wesley Matthews. They also don't have Dwight Howard now, Avery Bradley, Avery Bradley, or um, yeah, <laughs> I don't forgot his name, Rondo. So it's kind of weird how Rondo wins one, then just leaves Dwight Howard as well. They leave after they win a title, which I think is a little weird. Why would you do that? But hey, whatever. Go have fun. I would have stayed another year. Also, the Lakers are waiting on Anthony Davis to put some pen to the paper to sign his next contract if he's going to. So hopefully within the next few days, he will. Hopefully really soon. So we will see if that's going to help. But I think adding Schroeder is definitely the top key for them to win another title. That's for sure. Denver Nuggets is also on this list. So they finished 46 and 27. I thought they did better than what a lot of people was going to imagine. They lost to the Lakers in conference finals. They added Jamichael Green, Camp R- Campazo. I don't know much about him at RJ Hampton. He's a rookie, but I feel like he's going to be a good rookie. We'll see about that. Now, I'm not going to go through and, and read all what they had, but I think that it's going to be Michael Porter Jr. is going to really bring in another year, so we'll see. Um, even though I think... He's a free agent. We'll see what's going to happen with that. I don't know. I feel like he may not be, but I cannot remember. I'm sorry, you guys. But I think the Nuggets really do have a good chance of being contenders again this year. I can't wait to see what they're going to do with their season. Um, Let's jump into it. LA Clippers is another one. Um, They finished 49-23. Lost to Denver semifinals. They also got rid of Doc Rivers. They have a new head coach. We'll, we're going to see what's going to happen with that. I think it's going to be interesting. Now they got Abaka, which was a really good trade. Luke Kenner. I feel like Abaka is going to really bring a lot to the table. He's a good fit for the Clippers, and this guy agrees with me. So we'll see about that. Portland Trailblazers is coming in last. They were 35-39. and 39. They lost to the Lakers in the first round, of course. But they also added Robert Covington, Derek Jones Jr., Cantor, and Harry Giles. So they're really trying to make some moves. We're going to see what's going to happen. They have Damian Lillard, of course, CJ McCollum, and Eric. So we're going to see how well this team's going to perform. But I feel like the top teams are going to be Miami, of course, the Lakers. And then I want to say... Ooh, I don't, I want to say the Bucks is really going to be in and again this year. So we're going to see. It should be a fun season to watch. It starts December 22nd, I believe. What do you guys think? What are the best contenders to you? Comment down below. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. See ya.